So last year, I went to Coachella. <laughs> This year, I faked it. I decided to try and trick my 500,000 Instagram followers into thinking I got a flight halfway around the world to a festival, when in reality, I didn't even leave the house. Hands down, Coachella is one of the most Instagrammable events of the whole entire year. So me and one of my best friends, Byron, decided to have a little fun and see how many of you we could actually trick into thinking that we flew to Coachella. <laughs> It is now Tuesday, so yesterday night I put out the tweet which basically said I received an exciting email about going somewhere this weekend and then Byron actually quote tweeted it saying that he was also coming with me and that kind of led to like speculation of are we going to Coachella? It is day one of faking going to Coachella, we've got suitcases. How excited are you for Coachella? I'm so excited. I'm so jealous. You're coming? I'm not going to Coachella babe. Here's some uh, glitter. I'm gonna get gold, yeah? I need this for what the are plane. they? Oh, you need that for the plane? This is a little massage. Yeah, okay. We'll get that. I'm stressed too, and we'll get this. No, I think we should get gold. We're at the festival section in Primark, just looking at some last minute bits. There's loads of neon stuff here. I just don't know whether I need to get a bag or something. I've got sunglasses. I just don't know what else I need to get. Which one do you think, think we should go for? Nice. What, between the cherry one and between the unicorn one? I'm thinking of Coachella, like, do you know, like cute Instagram girls. Hey, what colour bikini set? I've got a black bikini, so we're gonna buy a pair of flip-flops. Which ones? Should I get the yellow? I get the yellow, cute. Yeah, should I just get the yellow? Okay, I need to get hey, a small one. Nice. Yeah, I need to get small. Flip-flops, let's go. We've just been at pop shop and we've got floats, we've got flip-flops, we've got glitter. We found these water fountains outside Westfield and we felt like it might look a little bit like Palm Springsy with all the grass and stuff. So we've got some lemonades. We're taking some boomerangs. It is time to unbox our outfit. I've got my pretty little thing order here. Byron's got his ASOS order. I'm really nervous. I'm nervous because look at the size of this bag. Like, I've ordered quite a lot and this is kind of small, but oh, no. here we go. This is my skirt. I like that. I think, I think it looks it really, really, really cool. cool. When it's on. But if it don't fit your waist, you've got a tiny waist. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I think that'll be really cute when I've got it on. Yeah. Over a bikini, yeah. Cute. I think that's cute. Yeah. Oh, you love. It looks like a bag. Oh, like a scarf that my nana knit. What is this? Oh, oh no, wait. So there's the arm. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. There's the arm. So it's off the shoulder, drop yeah. shoulder. Yeah. And then it's a bit longer than I anticipated. So I think this will either look. look really cool, or you'll literally look like an old-fashioned. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> You did GCSE textiles, but you want to work the pole. Also, look at his arm length, I know. Your arms are tiny, you've got T-Rex arms. <laughs> oh my god. This may be a miss. But this is my bikini. What's this? These are the bottoms. Oh, they're cute, they're high waist. Yeah, because they're a little bit, I don't know which way they go. So they're cute, I like that, because they'll come on high on your hips as well, that's cute. Um, Especially when... underneath that, that'll look really <gasps> There's no top in here. You're just going to have to do crosses on your nipples. Full on tit. These are so extra. <laughs> I wanted to be really extra, but oh. So these are the two poles, so that's one side. You're holding like that, like that attaches around your head. Like that, that attaches around my neck, right? Yeah, like that. <gasps> <laughs> I've got the first outfit on here. I actually don't think it looks that bad like considering we've had a bit of a nightmare And I've managed to salvage a top. I don't know like I kind of like it Like if I was actually going to Coachella, this is probably something that I'd actually like kind of wear It is now photo time So we set up the camera in front of a plain white wall and posed until our heart was content Just so we got that one perfect Coachella shot that we could crop ourselves out of and photoshop in to the festival it is pool time, ladies and gentlemen. We are, well, I'm saying we. Byron is actually blowing up the uh, little horse. I mean, it's not quite an acai bowl, but this is our uh, pit stop for lunch today. <laughs> it's got to, you've got to get it on. Oh. No, look at my legs. If, if you don't look wet. Um, are you joking? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we need to look like we're at a pool. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I need my face look a bit wet. We are just about to sit and edit the photos and one of our managers has messaged us saying, where are you and Byron off to? We're just with faking going to Coachella and everyone in the office is dying apparently, so love that for us. 
Right guys, we're having a little bit of a dilemma, I'm not gonna lie. Bit. We have been photoshopping ourselves for like three or four hours. Just as a little uh, context, this is how badly photoshopped they were. Um, yeah, they definitely look fake to me. I don't even have one that looks remotely real. So we're gonna take a little break. We're gonna go bowling. I didn't realize it could actually cause me this much stress. We're meant to be off the plane in five hours. So when I get back from bowling, I'm aiming to have at least one photo photoshop. Like, all I need is one. And finally, after many, many hours of attempted photoshopping, I finally got a photo that I was happy with. This is one that we actually took on a DSLR camera. And because of the quality of the photo and the blurriness of the background, I actually made it look slightly real. We've just been to the shop and bought a watermelon. It got absolutely ripped off because it was seven pounds. We're now gonna go home, cut this in half, and then head to the park. She's cutting quite nicely. She is indeed. <laughs> she looks smooth. She, looks, she really does. Wow, we're really out here at Coachella. And we're going to shoot against the sun because we found a picture that I'm going to try and edit myself into. Fingers crossed it's going to work. We've now gone and got the rest of the stuff. So I've got my angel wings and then we've also bought the watermelon on a baking tray <laughs> in the middle of the park. Like, it is currently 9 a.m. LA time. So me and Byron are actually now posting our breakfast boomerangs on our stories. And this is a boomerang that I got last year when I was at Coachella and we went for acai bowls. So I just put breakfast time, then off to Palm Springs. And we've also put hashtag gifted on it just to make it look maybe a little bit more believable and that we've got sent to Coachella. Nicole, who is actually at Coachella, just replied saying, oh my God, no way you're coming to Coachella. And I'm just telling her that I'm faking it. I really can't go along with it, bless her. Someone just sent this to me. They put, why do I think I've seen this before? I swear this is from when you went with Saf and it is is. Oh my god, people are catching on. Both me and Byron continued to post things on our Instagram stories and then we spent a further five and a half hours on various different apps and on Photoshop to see how realistic we could make our new photos look. So this is the first photo that I'm going to be posting on Instagram. I honestly do think it looks like a at Coachella and this is the second, which is probably my favourite. Two of my photos are actually up, so I thought we'd have a look at them and see what you guys are saying. So this one actually went up last night whilst I was at a concert. Let me just explain. Now, we actually had Shawn Mendes tickets for the night we were meant to be at Coachella, so obviously we were still going to go. And then I checked my comments and my DMs after, and you could definitely say our cover was blown, especially after meeting so many of you in the arena and you guys asking me why I'm not in LA. And it is currently on 67,000 likes, and it has been seen by 201,000 people. Emily knows that I'm not actually at Coachella, and she was commenting like, can't wait to see you to try and fool people. I've read all the top comments, but I actually just need to change them to newest first. Photoshopped, you're so pretty, cute background. Damn, Byron's photoshopping skills aren't bad. That was actually my photoshopping skills. Oh, okay, so some people fake, you look like a sticker. Okay, some people have, but then others genuinely haven't and others genuinely do think that I'm actually in LA. This one I posted this morning and it is on 68,000 likes and it has been seen so far by 197,000 people and 40,000 people have gone and looked at my profile after looking at this photo. I have looked at the top comments because I was replying to a few, but oh, here we go, I faked going to Coachella. You deserve this. See, some people genuinely do think that I'm at Coachella, but then others at the same time. Coachella has ended. I replied saying it was weekend two, and then a few people were replying saying, yay, oh my god, really? There's two of the same people sitting on the grass. This is a little bit of an issue I did notice. I had a bit of a Photoshop fail, and I didn't really realise that, like, there was two sets of people here. So, so far, you know, people are catching on, but not as many people as I honestly thought there would be. And the current time is actually now 3.38 a.m. because I just got in from going out and I basically posted my last Coachella photo earlier. It is currently on 48,777 likes. This is the reach and this is how many profile visits it's got. I haven't looked at the comments at all because I've literally been out all evening. What if it's a video where you try to trick us to think it's a fake when it isn't? Even if it's fake, you still look amazing. Thank you, guys. Oh, G commented on it. We all know this is fake now. Oh, no. Fake trip to Coachella, I can't wait to see the vid. All from the comfort of your own home, oh no. This photo is now on 84,000 likes and barely anybody clocked onto this one. And this one's on 71,000 and again, not a lot of people clocked onto this one. Overall, the pictures actually have done better and I've also gained a thousand more followers since posting these Coachella pictures, which is pretty insane, I'm not gonna lie. It's crazy because if I just scroll past these pictures on Instagram, I genuinely would think that I was at Coachella. I feel like I did pretty well, I'm pretty proud of myself, I'm not gonna lie. 
And that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I still cannot quite believe how many people actually believe that I was in LA. Maybe it's just because when I look at the photos, I know that they're photoshopped. But if you kind of just like scrolled past them on Instagram, I guess you wouldn't really think anything of it. And I have the most amazing fan accounts on Instagram who were proper, proper stalking it and trying to figure out if it was real or fake or not. And honestly, I love you guys so much because you're literally amazing. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye.